YouTube. What it do? It's your boy, the one and only. Today's daily audio book is called A Ho Gonna Be a Ho. You know? So, like, what's important is to remember and remind yourself, fellas, that always stay on purpose no matter what. We're here on purpose. We came to this world on purpose. I love this quote. I'm going to share this quote with you. It's from The Godfather. If you ever seen the movie, the 1972 Godfather, the original Godfather, uh, you'll, you'll know this quote. The 1972 Godfather. The 1972 Godfather film. It's a quote. He says something like this. I spent all my life trying not to be careless. As a man, I can't afford to be careless. Women and children can though. But as men, we cannot. That quote, it means a lot, especially in today's society where real men are needed, real strong men are needed. There's a attack on masculinity, real man masculinity. They're trying to make men feminine, more feminine, more soft, more G-A-Y and shit like that. But like, as men, we gotta realize something that a hoe gonna be a hoe, you know? So, let her do what she do. And you keep staying on purpose, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's all about assignment. It's all about the mission. This is all just a journey, bro. You're all just going to where you, where you wanna go. Your destination, wherever that is. I don't know where your destination is. We haven't spoke about it yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, fellas, you guys gotta be aware that on your life and on your journey, if you cross paths with a hoe, or if you're dealing with a hoe, or a woman who has hoe tendencies, like, keep game, just be aware. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Keep building, however y'all building or whatever, like if that's what you choose to do, or keep just doing what you're doing solo. Like, it's all up to you at the end of the day. But the purpose of this audio book is just to let you know a hoe gonna be a hoe. That's just her job, bro. Like, that's just what she know. Like, you can't really be mad at a, 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 a robot that fight people because it was programmed to fight like that's all it knows bro you know what i'm saying like you can't blame mckenzie for losing that florida state game because he didn't start you know what i'm saying so my point is you can't blame someone for one, who they are, or two, something they had no control over. And one, a hoe gonna be a hoe. That's just who she is. And two, a hoe gonna be a hoe because she has no control over herself. She has no control over her programming, over all the things that she absorbed when she was growing up and young and all that pain and all that trauma that she hasn't attended to and no one has helped her address that pain and that trauma so now she's carrying it around and she gonna keep home because she don't really love herself she thinks sex is love so let her keep doing that bro she's on her journey she needs to learn what she's learning you decide if you want to deal with her or not as a man of high value, of a, as a man who is raising his value, you decide what you want to do. This is your life. You have control over your domain. 
You are the captain of your soul and the master of your fate. It's important for you to know that you're in control. And control what you can control. You can control yourself as long as you're aware of what you're doing. And shit like that. I talked a little bit about that in the last audio book I dropped. You take the catalog, it's called The Power of Image. So, what's important to know is a hoe gonna be a hoe, bro. A hoe gonna be a hoe. You decide, though, what you want to do. Do you want to fuck with her or do you not want to fuck with her? So, once you made that decision, move accordingly. But always stay on purpose because your purpose is the most important thing. The purpose is the reason why you're here. Whatever it is that you're here to do, you have to figure that out. And the way to figure that out is by figuring out who you are. Getting to know yourself. I spoke about that a little bit too. An audio book called The Power of Image. Well, check that audio book out. It's called The Power of Image in the catalog a hoe gonna be a hoe though bro y'all already know that like you should already know that like the point of this audiobook is basically don't get mad from her doing hoe decisions don't let that uh, fuck you up your day don't let that emotionally affect you like if you gonna check her check her but like don't let that fuck up what you're doing check her then go back to what you're doing because your purpose is more important you know what I'm saying like Keep building is what I'm saying, bro. Don't let a hoe destroy your life. Like, if you hurt off her cheating off you or something like that, or you hurt because she left, or, like, if you hurt because, like, anything that she did that was, like, a hoeish tendency or that was something that was, like, damn, she broke my trust. If you hurt from that, like, you gotta sit and like accept the lesson. Accept the lesson. And you decide, like I said, you decide if you wanna deal with her or not. It's your life, man. You got control over your life and everything you do. And once you become aware of this, you take back your power. And the power is, it starts in the mind. It starts within yourself, within your body. You know, like, you got to be aware of who you are and how great you can become if you just really put in the time and the work and the effort. You feel me, fellas? So, fellas, y'all need to, I'm not going to say y'all need to, but just become aware of how you allow others to affect you. Like, you shouldn't allow no one to affect your emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, like, when you say things to a female and, like, she get mad and upset, like, you can't really blame her because she's emotional. But you as a man, you should not be getting emotional because of what other people say and what other people do. In or out of a sexual relationship, even if you're just talking to someone, like, you can't allow people to get you out of character because when... You're doing great things, and you are a, 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 a beacon of light. Like, think about it. All the gnats, all the flies and shit, they go to the light. All the moths, they go to the light. They're attracted to the light. Everyone's attracted to the light. So when you're building and you're growing, you got to be aware that everything is attracted to the light. The universe is dark. So everything's attracted to the light. That's going to be another video, another audio book for another day. That's going to be another audio book for another day. So it's like, listen to what I got to say right now, man. A hoe going to be a hoe. So you got to know, bro, just to keep doing what you're doing and never let anybody, like, break your cool. Like, don't let nobody break your cool. Keep it cool and keep your vision in mind. Keep that end goal in mind. And keep the right people around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, protect your energy. Protect your space. Do everything you can to become better and greater. 
All right, fellas, listen. Y'all been rocking with me for a minute, man. So make sure y'all share this video and, you know, get the word out there so we can spread this content and we can help more young men or even older men just help more men in general become greater because that's what this channel is all about is just becoming greater like especially in america i feel like america has kind of lost its way like that american pride like i feel like even though america doesn't really have no culture like it stole everyone's culture <coughs> i mean <coughs> i mean i mean uh, that's another audio book the other day but uh listen <laughs> listen listen i feel like america has lost its power in a way you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we need to start becoming stronger, us men, all around the world. We need to become stronger, we need more real men. Like I said, there's an attack on masculinity. The so-called people who are in charge don't want real men out here making decisions because they know what happens. We fucking tear shit up. We build this fucking world. And we can destroy this fucking world. We are the generators, the operators, and the destroyers. G-O-D. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they know me. They know They know, They know. know you. You got to take back your power, man. Don't allow women to lead you. Don't allow women to get you out of motion, out of character. Never that. Because you are the power. You are the man. You know what I'm saying? And especially if you're melanated, bro. Like, step into your power, you feel me? Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, man. So when I drop a video, you don't miss the package, man. Like FedEx, man. You got to sign for this package. You got to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That's the signature. This, this this message that's being delivered, you have to sign for it. So don't miss it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't miss it. You got to get that info fast, man. Because you too be playing. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, you already know. Leave a comment down below. Until next time, though. Peace.